with the Dragon Strike. That's a quad kill. Oh, it's so nasty. Vic just kills everybody. My name is Kevin Lindstrom. I go by the name of Tvik, and I play for Florida Mayhem. Hanzo is a very, very important pick just because of his very high damage output and very high burst with his Storm Arrows. I usually always play with 200 Hz, just so that oh, not all computers is always able to run the 240. I always run with reduced buffering on. I feel like it reduces input lag, 50% of render scale, and making sure that everything is kind of on low. I've been using colorblind options for a very long time because I'm very slightly colorblind. I used to run with the, the Protanopia before, but now I'm just using a different one for my enemies, which is just gold. My crosser is just a very small cross, or like a small plus sign, so to say. The one I like the most is either this crosser, which I have, or I just use the default. For a new player, I definitely recommend like starting out with the default crosser. It gives you an idea of how much the arrow actually drops on longer range. Usually when I know that I'm gonna play Hanzo, I always just go into practice range, just so that I kind of get the feel for my mouse and my mouse pad. Sometimes it, it, fe it feels a little bit different, it feels a little bit off. Maybe I need to change something, maybe I just need to clean my mouse pad a little bit. Just the presence of a sniper often denies space on, on a map. What makes Hanzo unique as a sniper is that he can very actively deny space by just spamming corners with his arrows, rather than just like, kind of waiting for to hit the shot as a Widowmaker. You'd rather just like try to predict that they're gonna come around the corner at this moment and you keep spamming it. That is just filthy. So Storm Arrow's cooldown is not too long, it's about 10 seconds. And there's not a, a lot of situations where you actually want to save it. You'd rather just like use it on cooldown as much as you can, because it's have very high burst damage. A Dragon Strike is it's always nice to get kills with it. But if you don't get kills with it, that it's that's fine, it's completely okay. So what you just gotta do is just shoot it in a position where it either cuts off the kiting path from the enemies or you use it in a clump of enemies so they split out so you can just take one of the sides of the dragon and you can just focus that side so you can easily focus down.